Namaste Life Savings, today we are going to continue our Space Shooter series which I left one year ago and I am very sorry for that but now I am going to make sure that I am not going to upload any other video on this YouTube channel unless I complete this series first. So in this tutorial we are going to extend our player movement. Earlier we made the two player movements that is the pointer based player movement and the button based player movement. Now we are going to add a tail based player movement in which the player moves according to the accelerometer input. After that we are going to add a control switcher so you can switch between those three controls. It will be helpful when it will be very helpful when you are creating a pause menu for your game. And the next thing we are going to do is we are going to create a shoot lasers automatically uh, thing in pointer based mode. Uh, so you see guys that the thing is when we are in Android or iOS and we are using the pointer based mode so the point the player goes where the pointer is so if i have a shoot lasers button when i tap on that button the player goes to that button which is very undesirable for the player so we will say whenever the player presses the pointer uh, sorry sorry when the whenever the pointer gets down uh, the lasers automatically shoot and after that we are all done in this tutorial so let's get back to unity and I have changed the Unity version to Unity 2017.1 because it's been one year and I it was so difficult to find this project. <laughs> so now we are going to go ahead with the scripting part. So you can see it's the player movement input enum. We are going to add tilt input. And if we go down in the update method, we can see our movement input type. We are using it here and it is the button based. This is pointer based. So now we are going to create an else which will be our tilt based. So this, this else denotes our tilt based per moment. So we can comment it. Now it's a one line thing. It's transform or translate. And we will do the magic here. So the accelerator accelerometer input is cached into this variable that is input dot acceleration so it is a vector 3 and it has three axes so let me show you something this is the rotation in x axis this is the rotation in y axis and this is the rotation in z axis so we are going to uh, focus on x axis and y axis uh, whenever the player whenever there is an accelerometer input in x axis we are going to move our player leftwards or right and whenever there is an input in y axis we are going to move our player forward and backward so now let's get ahead we will say speed times trans, uh, time dot delta time times input dot acceleration dot x now for the y axis we will say speed into time dot delta time times input dot acceleration dot y and we're going to leave the z axis blank so this is it guys we are ready with the tilt input moment uh, but let me tell you one thing when i tested this thing uh, the speed for the input uh, y axis was very high so i will suggest you to make two speed variables for this speed x and speed y so let me show you speed accelerometer x speed accelerometer y and this variable will be going to lower than this variable so let's copy it and we will say yeah. I guess this will be 20f and this we will say is going to 2.5 f <laughs> now we can uh, it says speed excel and uh, let me check it speed excel y okay now we are done with the tail part and we have to add a control switcher now so let's create a new script We'll call it control switcher. I actually forgot the spelling of switch. 
so this script is going to be very simple we have to remove all this code and uh, let me guess what we're going to do is we're going to add a plain method that will be switch controls okay and this is a static thing okay so we will say if player controller dot instance is equal to null we will simply return from this method else we will continue so here we will say if player controller dot instance dot movement input type is movement input type dot button based then we will switch it to um, the next one let me copy it we are going to use it many times so let me copy it is equal to player control dot pointer based and if we are in pointer based then we will change to the tilt based and if we are in tilt based we can simply say else then we will change to our button based so it's just like a loop and i guess after that we have completed this script so just to make sure it works we are going to add a new button and we will name it control switcher and we will say switch controls we will anchor it there and let me reposition it oh <laughs> yes i guess that will be right now we are going to create an empty game object and you know what the method is control switcher add this script add an on click and just say it is switch controls so now we have it guys and the next thing is shoot lasers automatically when in pointer based mode so to do that we will just create a variable to check if the player wants to happen wants that to happen so we will say serialize field it's going to be a private variable private bool shoot lasers automatically if it's true uh shoot lasers automatically when player is in pointer based mode okay so now we are going to do is this button based this is pointer based so here's the thing input dot get key mouse zero okay we'll cut and paste it here and we are going to fire here but you can see it's in the update and the fire rate will be going too high and we will be left with zero lasers in no time so we are going to add an interval here and we can do it simply by creating some private messages we will say private float laser Mm, let me think. Laser interval. Okay. Let's say it's 0.3. Now we will say private float counter. I guess if it's not already made. Yes, it's okay. Now we are going to do the magic. We will say counter plus equals time dot delta time. okay and if counter is greater than equal to laser fire 
in laser interval we will say fire and we're going to reset our counter variable so it can be repeated now we're going to set our counter to be zero now let's switch to pointer mode and see it in action so currently i'm in which mode let me see i'm in tilt input now i'm button based now i'm pointer based so you can see i'm automatically shooting the lasers uh, so i made this thing because if you don't wish to do so let me uncrew it oh yeah thanks for mentioning that out <laughs> we actually forgot we have created a boolean for this shoot lasers automatically if this is the thing then we're going to do this whole drama i guess that's okay so now let me show you why i did this so let's switch to our pointer base so now you can see we are shooting lasers but if we uncheck that variable we are not shooting lasers to shoot laser the player has to tap on this and uh, undesirably the player goes to that direction so that's why i built this method hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys and in next tutorial we're going to do something i have not decided yet but <laughs> i will decide soon so bye bye hope you enjoyed